entered my Realm of Magic giveaway yet? Link to that video is in the description below. Good luck. What it do, baby booze? Welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Build a Post-Apocalyptic School. <laughs> so today we are starting right back up in the school, but I did make a couple changes before I started. So like I said in the last episode, um, I, I said that I was gonna make up some posters, CC posters that you would see in school, and I did that. So we have the bully free zone one, we have a one with like a little world on it, and it says like, international walk and roll to school day so we've got that it's like an earth day kind of thing and then we have numbers count can you we have a divisibility chart in the math room we've got some class rules over here and a lot of other things that you'll just kind of see around the school like I just I made that I made the sound of music poster other rule posters and like the writing process and punctuation because this is like the English class so yeah so then we've got this over here in the bathroom you aren't alone help is a Available. I thought that that might be a good one for the bathroom because both boys and girls go in it So let me know what you think about that and then on the top floor I did make a couple changes off camera as well So if we go up here I added some more walls because I forgot that to make a school like a real school like a, a school that we have to um, You know that we'll go to school with because it's literally a high school I have the high school mod we need an office like a principal's office and then a counselor's office So I was thinking this main room right here could be a principal office and then back here could be the counselor's office you know after you get through to the principal's one the stairs looks a little bit different but I kind of like how it's situated and then I put this door in and I I, I don't know I, I like this door it looks a little more like school ish you know what I mean and then I put some more posters in the art room because I, I think this is gonna be the art room and then maybe we'll have the music room over here and uh, science right here so I think that's gonna be it for all of the subjects oh no 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 Okay, so this will be art and music and then this will be history or something. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But today that's what we're doing. So we're just gonna um, kind of finish it up. I want to do hopefully uh, uh, the rest of the build today. So let's just get started, shall we? So the basement is pretty much all done. It's just, I do want to add a couple more touches to it. I just want to add a couple more things that they can do like for the physical education room. I'm thinking that maybe we could just, just do half of the gym, be the, a basketball court and then the other half could just be like punching bags and you know other kinds of exercise machines and stuff I just want to look at what we've got for exercise machines so we've got you know treadmills we've got this thing you better respect girl and then we've got some punching bags and stuff like that okay I think that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna get rid of this one just because it's the normal looking one and then we will get rid of this side and we're gonna put this over on the other side just like that so then um um, it's just kind of out of the way too. And then this side of the room will just be kind of like, you know, equipment and exercise machines and stuff like that. And then, cause they never use two sides of the court. So I just figured, you know, like it just, it would just be more functional if we just, you know, did it like this. So I'm thinking maybe we could have some kind of shelves as well to put like the balls on and stuff. What is this? Ooh, a water balloon bucket. That could be fun. Maybe we could do that. Just put that right there for now. And let's just get the machines out too. Ooh, a rock climbing wall. Ugh. Of course, it's way too tall. I might want to do this. Let me just look and see what it would look like if we had extra tall walls. So, I mean, it's not terrible. You know what? I think I'm going to do it just so I can have a rock climbing wall in here. I think it's worth it. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's kind of worth it. I don't know. I don't know many schools that would have a rock climbing wall. <laughs> But you know what? We're gonna do it. So we're just gonna put this over here and then I'll just put the wall off to the side like this. And then does it come in any, any other colors or anything? I think we'll do this one. It's more, it kind of like blends in with the gym a little bit with the wood. And then we need to get like a punching bag. Ooh, this looks kind of apocalypty, doesn't it? A little bit. It works like a punching bag, I think. But we can put an all, another punching bag in here as well. This one looks used and kind of damaged and stuff, which is perfect. And then um, maybe we can put some shells shelves in here oh but we need we need uh, a treadmill I think we'll put the base game treadmill
windmill in here just because it's like the most normal looking one. The other ones look so futuristic. It's just, it's just too much. Then we're going to want to do the base game Body Crunch Pro Home Gym System. We'll do that. So we'll do that there. And then let's go ahead and put some shelves in here so that we can kind of situate ourselves a little bit more. We'll just put all the equipment over here for now and then just kind of build up our shelves. So we're just going to go ahead and use these guys from Get to Work. I think they're pretty simple and self-explanatory and they work wonderfully and they look, they look the part as well. So I think that is what we are going to do. So then we're going to put the basketballs up here. So then all of the kids have their own ball to play with. <laughs> oh, the word ball is funny, isn't it? BB, dad, move objects on. Should we do more balls or, okay, let me look up equipment and see what we get here. What is this? Lighting equipment. Ooh, this looks like something that would be in like a janitor's room, doesn't it? And then what is this? Cart of video equipment. Huh, interesting. I feel like this would be in a school, but I don't know where. Ooh, pool rescue equipment. Perfect. Let's go put this over in the pool room. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we're going to go put this somewhere. I don't know where we're going to put this though. We'll just kind of put it right here for now. I don't know. Maybe we can make a janitor's room or something, but I don't, I don't want to keep adding to the ideas and then this build go on for absolutely ever. You know what I mean? The punching bag equipment can go right here by the windows. If you guys want me to move it, I can. But for now, I think we'll just put them right here. And then we can go ahead and put the runner guy right here and this guy right here. Sure, I guess. All right. So that's what we're going to do for now. If you guys want me to move things, I definitely can but yeah I think it looks a lot better with a little bit more clutter in here like at least the shelves with some balls on it and then maybe we can put some balls like just kind of around I kind of want to fill this shelf up though and then maybe we can put more of the pile of sports equipment on this shelf right here are there different swatches for these there is okay we'll do that one for this this has a bowling ball on it <laughs> <laughs> Not that we have a bowling alley, but you know, it's fine. All right, and then we're gonna go up real quick. And is there anything that we need to do? Okay, so let's finish up the lunch room or begin it, I suppose. So I was thinking that we could use the dine out kitchen equipment stuff. What I really wanted to use was the full, what is it? Full disclosure chef station. St chef station. <laughs> I cannot talk at all today. So I was thinking that we could do maybe both of these in order for this to like fully work. We need to put a wall in here. So we're going to go and just do that really quick. And then we can put it right here, like right in the middle, maybe. And it looks like this. We got to obviously put a door to get in there, but we will. And then I was also thinking one of these guys as well, just to uh, help them out. A little second part right here. Maybe we can put the door in between like so. And maybe we can do two of these guys. So like that. And then they can, you know, bring their trays across right here. Yeah, that's perfect. I love that. And then let's go ahead and put a door in here. Something that looks kind of like regal and official, like no one, no student goes in here. Oh, this is nice. All, what is it? All steely and chromed. <laughs> That's great. So let's put um, a silver one in there. Yeah, I think we'll do that because it matches the window area right there, which is perfect. So the lunch lady can get in right there. And then maybe this wall could be something different, like an accent wall or something. I don't know why, but I really like this dark tile. I think I'm going to do that for now. If you guys don't like it, I can definitely change it. But I don't know. I'm just feeling it for some reason. So then let's go ahead and just put some of these basic dark walls just back right here. And all we really need are some tables. And then the tables will just kind of flood out to the back. So it'll be enough. It just doesn't really look that big. Like the lunch room itself is tiny, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm thinking actually I kind of want picnic tables. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but outdoor furniture might have something nice. So maybe we could do the uh, city living tables because those look pretty cool. Like I like how they're really painted and stuff and they all have their own like different designs. So I want enough room on both sides for them to access it. Maybe we'll just put it in the middle of this table or in the middle of the window right there so that there's room on both sides. Plus it's like, you know, directly in the middle. And then I want to look through the colors here. 
gosh, these are really pretty. Oh, I really like these ones. Okay, and then there's another design that looks really good. I really like this one too. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay, we're gonna do one more by the door, but it's gonna be enough room. I think that's enough. Oh, I don't know. Is that enough room to open and close the doors? It just looks really cluttered right next to the door. So I don't know if I like that very much. Maybe we could put it like this and just have them kind of like right next to each other, like side by side. Yeah, I think we'll do that for now. And then we'll just do the same thing on this side. So there's four tables in here and then a big open space for them to go outside. But four tables should be enough for inside right now. And then we can do the more colorful ones outside. Oh, filing cabinets. That would be perfect for upstairs in the principal's office and the counselor's office. We have these guys, like these tables from Strangerville. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right in the science room just so we have them out already. I also wanna put a hamster in this room just because, I don't know, I feel like that'd be awesome. I forgot that we're actually gonna access the plant room from the biology room. So we're just gonna put these posters. I actually got a periodic table of elements to use as a poster as well. I thought that was pretty cool. So we have a bunch of science posters that I made in here. So I made this, I made that, I made that, that, and I don't think I made that. I think that came with Strangerville as well. So then let's go ahead and put a door in this area right here. This is my favorite though. I think we're gonna go with this. So then this is like the little area that you're gonna go through to get to the plant room. Were we downstairs before? Yeah, okay, so we were working on the lunchroom. That's right. So then let's go ahead and put some more picnic tables outside. So these are the more fun picnic tables. And then I kind of want to put some like condiments on there. Are they like literally called condiments? Alrighty, I think we are pretty much finished almost with the food. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Maybe we could, is, is there like a sign with food on it? Let me see if there is like anything else besides like wine glasses. And then we have a little business chalk sign too. Okay, I think we're gonna go with the one with the bread on it. So let's just go through. Oh, we have different signs too. Little coffee cups, they're so cute. Like maybe this could be like what's on the menu, you know? Like what, what are we gonna eat today? Look at this. Okay, so we've got a chalkboard menu. <gasps> Perfect, we can put this up top and this is like what, we've, what we're eating today. You know what I mean? So then we've got this too. So what would we do? What would be the best one? I wish this was a little smaller to be honest. Maybe we could put it right in here like that. Does this come with different swatches? Okay, that, ooh, I like the pink one. Oh, we've got another little menu. Oh my God, I didn't realize how many menus there were. I feel like we're missing something. Like something should go right here. You know what I mean? Maybe we could put the sign in the corner like that. But I feel like something should go right here. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions on what to put in this corner, just let me know. I'm kind of at a loss right now. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I think we're gonna move on though. Actually, okay, before before we move on completely, Galaxy Dragon actually suggested putting a table by the door. And I completely agree because I just like, there's nothing there and it's just like so empty. <laughs> like I just don't like empty spaces like that. You know what I mean? So we're gonna put a table here, something long maybe like that. I know it's technically a dining table, but it kind of matches the desks here. So I kind of, I think I'm gonna go with that. And then we're gonna have to put something on it, right? All right, and then we have the table on the side. I think we're good. I think the algebra room is pretty much done. In fact, I think the whole floor over here is pretty much done for now. Now we can move on to the second floor. Dun, da, da, da. So for the first thing that I think we should do is just kind of cover the walls with wallpaper.
I've been kind of excited to get going on the principal's office. So we gotta find that sticker. I have a sticker. This is what tells your principal sim to go over to this room. So we're gonna put the sticker guy right here or whatever. I want the desk in front of the window. So, okay, let's go over to desks. This looks like a principal's desk, does it not? Does it not? That is awesome. Okay, we're gonna do this. Kind of looks like a secretary's desk. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna put a chair in here. Oh, that's great. I like that. That's a good one. And then like something nice would be like a plant or something in here. But we do need to put some chairs, like waiting room chairs in here as well. Maybe this guy in like a red, a red and black. That's nice. Okay, so we'll just put these guys in here as if like when your student gets called to the office, then they can go on on these chairs and talk to them while they're you know on the computer or whatever let's let's do this guy and then maybe okay yeah a plant i was thinking a plant before this is cute his own little personal plant i like that let's go for a rug this looks kind of regal does it not why do i keep saying that does it not i kind of like that all right we'll just do that how big does this get if i size it up oh my goodness okay cool it really does it works okay so we'll just do that we're just gonna go over here and do another desk for the counselor I think we'll do this guy, the Executron Executive Desk. So we'll just put it like this. Oh, I kind of like how there are books and stuff on the other side. Perfect. And then we need to put a chair in there. It's not going to be as regal as the principal chair. So we'll just put this guy in here. And then he needs a computer and chairs as well. So we'll do that. So we'll just put this guy. Maybe we can do the same exact chairs as we have in the principal's office. Do we have a bookcase that's like one tile long? I think we do somewhere. This is technically a bookcase. You know, that would be kind of nice, actually. Maybe he should have a filing cabinet. Okay, so maybe we should do, instead of a chair right here, we should put a filing cabinet, just like this. And then we'll go ahead for a bookcase. I think this is one. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. Okay, and then we should put some things on the shelves. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, let's put this in the lunchroom real quick. <laughs> Plates and napkins and forks and spoons and stuff like that. This is like business cards. We'll put it in the counselor's office too. Okay, I like it. It's coming along, guys. All right, let's put some lockers all up in here. <laughs> put it all up in here. So it's not as cluttered as downstairs um, because I, I just wanted some room for some of these posters here. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, yeah, there are a lot of lockers in schools, but like there's also a lot of posters and like free spaces and stuff too. So I, I neglected to put any lockers on this wall as well because I don't know. I just want it kind of free and open. I'm not really sure. Do you guys have any suggestions for what to do in this little space right here? Um, should we just leave it open or should we put something out here? Should we make it designated for somebody? Like, let me know what you guys think think. But without further ado, let's go actually over to the, the science room. I feel like I've been giggity-ing out the, the most for the science room. So I think we're going to go for these guys again. Woof. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and change the colors of these tables too. I think we're just going to go for like a normal silver for the science room. Like I, I feel like the science teacher would be like super do things in my way, you know, like kind of boring and like uptight, you know, they wouldn't want any color or anything like that. Like science isn't for color. Science is for learning things. Okay. All right. Cool. And I do want to put a hamster or something in here. I think we'll put a hamster right along this wall right here. Let me go ahead and do that. We're going to put hammy right here because usually in science classes I, I've said this before but usually in science classes there is some kind of animal that the class is responsible for taking care of hopefully Mia and like her friends will remember to do this because if not that's that's gonna be a problem but look we got a little hamster is the hamster all the same color I think they all look like that <laughs> that's fine though let's pick a color 
kind of like this one. Otherwise, do you guys want to do a hedgehog? We could also do a hedgehog. We could do a rat. Is that a rat? Or a mouse? I think this is a mouse or a rat. I can't tell. <laughs> it's gray, so it looks like a rat to me. I'm not a mouse slash rat person. I don't <laughs> I do not do that, but we've also got um a bobolus. A bobolus? I think it's a void critter or something, but that's not exactly real. <laughs> but then again, neither are zombies, so whatever. We'll leave it as a hamster for right now, but if you guys want whiskers or thimble, which would be the hedgehog, I kind of want to do a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are cute. You know what? We're not doing a hamster. We're doing a hedgehog. That's what we're doing for right now. If you guys want me to change it, that's fine, but for now, we're just doing a hedgehog. All right, for a science room, what would be good for science? I kind of want to do this guy for the science room. I just feel like science teachers are usually super down to earth and they just don't care about like having pretty things. You know what I mean? Like they would go for like something kind of aluminum for their desk. When I was in school, my science teachers were always super like down to earth and like X 60s hippies and everything. You know what I mean? Like it's, it was just really weird. And you, you wouldn't think that a hippie would turn into a science teacher, but yeah, maybe all those years of growing pot plants kind of turned them onto the idea, you know? So we're going to do that. That. And then we need a computer again. So we'll just go for something simple. They all do the same thing, so it's fine. Then um, I think we're good for this class for now. I kind of want to start working on other classrooms and just get this high school finished. So I'm just putting a rug down or three, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna go for the green and blue. And then we need to go over here and just put a bunch of pots down here. Or planters, sorry. And then we have a bunch of um, seeds and stuff. So I'm gonna put the seeds actually on everybody's tables. So maybe we can, you know, just start planting stuff right away. Okay, every table has a big plop of seeds on the tables, so that should be fine. Their assignments will probably just be like, go plant some fruits, and like maybe they'll have their own planters to like, you know, take care of their own plants and everything. That could be fun, like, you know, just having everyone have their own plants that they're like responsible for taking care of. I really love this toilet planter so much. We might give that to Mia. <laughs> Do we have any like gardening supplies? Okay, we have this guy. That's kind of nice. Maybe we should put this guy on here. So let me just put it a little closer and then they can kind of start making arrangements and stuff and then there's the bonsai tree i almost forgot about this guy so we'll put this in here too and you can create different like things with it <laughs> i'm just putting random stuff in here at this point this is really pretty i kind of want to put this on the desk like that and then maybe we can put oh we've got fertilizer a big fertilizer bag so we'll put that up here or we can put it on someone's desk let's just put it on someone's desk for now and then we can put some of these tools tools on the teacher's desk and this hoe and shovel can go inside the room we've got boots that can go in here maybe they're the teachers you know so we'll put them right there and then we've got a watering can we can put this right there why do i have a bird cage that's so cool it's like random but it's cool though maybe we could like float it up like it's floating you know maybe we can size it up a little bit and then it'll be like it's hanging from the sea we have another little plant here. We can put this on the teacher's desk. Liquid plant food. Okay. So this is like, this is, this is biology, guys. This is where you learn how to take care of life, you know? This is really cool. I, I, I think the science room is my favorite one so far. Oh, we've got a lot of, like, we've got like stacks on stacks of planters. We'll put these guys in here and this will be like, yeah, everyone come grab your planter. Okay, so we have some gardening magazines. Maybe we can put a table of some kind right here. Maybe this guy. We'll just put this guy up here. 
<laughs> and then we'll put the magazines in the corner like so. And this is planter magazines, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I think we are finished with the gardening and the biology room. So let's move on over here. You know what? We're gonna put this in the science room. It actually matches the desk a little bit more. So just like this. Okay, we've got a little thing in the corner. What is this guy? Oh, I like this. It's got like herbs hanging from it and stuff. We'll put that in there. And then maybe instead of having all the seeds on people's desks, we can put seeds on the table. So we'll just put one packet of seeds on each cabinet. I don't know, but I really like how it's got stuff hanging from it and stuff like that. Maybe we should put some more plants around here since like it's super focused on gardening and stuff. I don't know what they're going to rake because <laughs> there's no leaves in, he leaves in here, but you know, it's fine. We'll put this guy on the bottom. Okay, we'll just do that for now. And then if you guys want to change anything, you can just let me know. I think we are pretty good on the science room. I think we're pretty cluttered. I kind of got that done pretty quickly there. Let's go over to the art and music room. This is the room that I have been wanting to do ever since we first started. So let's just get it started. Um, I want to do some kind of funky wallpaper. You know what? I kind of want to go with this. I think that's fine. It's plain but pretty. That's what it's called. And I kind of like this. I think we're going to go with this for the history room too. Maybe we'll go with the blue for the history room. But for this room, we'll go with red. So then we need a chalkboard. We're going to go with the board that we have in the science room and we'll put it in here. And there is a swatch that is actually perfect. It's just this, but it looks like they have been writing stuff on it and they kind of, you know, erased it a little bit. This is going to be fun. All we have to do is just put in a bunch of of like easels, maybe a table or two, like one of these guys. Okay, so then we have like one big table for people to work on. I think that's kind of nice. And then we can put some chairs in there. Okay, we got all of our chairs looking nice and mismatchy. And then I wanna go ahead and grab what we have over here. We have this guy that kind of looks like art supplies. All right, so we've got one big mess of an art table right now, which is beautiful. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some easels and some instruments around. We do need a chess table too. So maybe we'll put some chess tables in here or make like one or something, maybe a couple. That should be fine. And then we'll just put some chairs in there later. I was playing around with the mod a little bit, the, the get to school mod, and they were using some chess tables. I kind of don't want to put a teacher's podium in here because I don't want them learning like math and science in here and stuff. It'll be fine because like when we have the actual school mod going, um, it'll just tell us to go make music, go like make a painting or whatever. So we'll just end up going up here anyways. And we don't need a teacher teaching anything else in here. So I think for right now, we'll be good. Maybe we can put up some more posters though and like move these around a little bit. I put these in here just so I knew what room they'd be going in, but like, they don't have to be all in one area like that. Oh, oh, I know. So we've got this one, which we'll definitely put in here. This is CC. Okay, we've got, we've got the community canvas. This one, I don't think that they can actually um, change, but this is kind of fun to just kind of have, like as, as if, you know, they did paint this. I kind of like that one. That one's really cool. And then I need to move these canvases. 
right. I think for now, the art room is done. Let's move on to history. And then I think we're going to be done, you guys. Wow. Okay. And then let's add a couple chairs to the chest tables. Maybe we move these somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, maybe we can put these up here. There we go. There's something that we can do on the outside. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the history room, you guys. We are pretty much done. Let's grab a chalkboard real quick. Look at that. That would have been actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this one downstairs in the language room. And then we're going to move this over to the history room because that has words on it. So it's just, you know, it's kind of perfect. It's kind of meant for it. Let's put in a teacher's podium somewhere. And if you guys have been wondering why there aren't many bookcases, there will be a library lot. So I think what we're going to do for that extra lot is we are literally going to put a library there. It's going to operate like a library, but there are going to be different buildings acting as different things. So we can have lots of different things going on on one lot and kind of hang out with each other there. But let me know what you guys think. So we'll put a desk in this corner. Put this guy and then a computer. Man, I, I, it sucks though because we don't really have a study hall or anything. So that's gonna kind of suck um, because there are going to be times where we're gonna need to use a computer for something and we're probably just gonna end up having to use a, com a, a computer from the teachers. But maybe we can put a few computers in this hallway, like just with these desks or something. Should we give all the students apples? <laughs> just give them a Mac. Oh my God. We'll just give everybody Macs in this little area. Wow. Spoiled students, I swear. Okay, so there we go. So they have their own little computer area. Maybe we can get a bookcase in here. I feel like a history room would definitely have a big bookcase like this. And then some posters at the very least. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is kind of like, you know how like if you have a job that you want, you want to get out there in the world and like you don't have any other way to kind of advertise it except for putting little stubs in like public places. This could be like one of those things and we could put it in the school somewhere. Maybe we could put it in the principal's office like this. So like if any students want to, you know, put like their own like artwork or something in here or like promote something. Yeah, it's called announcements on the wall. So we could just put this on the wall and it'll just be like little announcements that kids can kind of grab a stub from. I kind of like how that looks, to be honest. Now, I know the history room kind of needs a little bit more love. Maybe we'll look up school and put some more supplies on their desks. But after that, you guys, I think the school is completely finished. Maybe we'll just do a book. then maybe we can put some long tables up here as well just to kind of use the space a little bit more and I'm not sure what we would have in a history room <laughs> maybe we can put some statues up here or something like some kind of trinket from the past or something <laughs> a telescope that's cool maybe we can put that in this corner and we can have them kind of look out like that oh i like that okay we'll put that right here so then they can kind of stand here and just kind of look outside i love that and then we have a globe i feel like every school needs a globe especially like a history class would this be up in the front you think and can we change the color here no okay do we have like a real globe like an actual globe okay we have a tiny globe this could go up on the table is this a little bit bigger? Let's put this one right here. The real looking globe is actually a bar, <laughs> but it is, it actually works really nicely. I really like, th I like this one a lot more than this one. So I think we're going to go with this and then we'll put, we'll sell this. This is literally a bar, but we don't have to use it as a bar. <laughs> no one better use it as a bar. That's for sure. So we'll put it right here. Okay, you guys, I think we are about 
finished with our school. So you guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. And in the next part, we will start building another build. We are completely finished with the high school. So thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye loves. Mwah.